Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is a Screencast-O-Matic presentation and recording for the warm-ups that coincide for the first half of the warm-up packet cycle for Europe. Before we get started, please let me encourage you to open up to the correct warm-up packet cycle and get ready to write down the question and the answer. Please also remember to format your answer content in a different colored font. Remember that when you're finished, please do not submit just yet as you need the other half of the warm-up packet cycles for next week's lessons. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to Europe. What is Europe like as a continent? Objectively describe and explain its physical and cultural characteristics. I'll give you a few seconds to copy down the question, and then we'll proceed from there. So Europe, generally speaking, in terms of its human characteristics, is the second smallest continent in the world. But for its size and population, it takes third place in that rank. Europe is actually home to 10% of the world's population too, which makes it pretty important in terms of population count. From a geography standpoint, Europe has a varied climate with la different landscapes, from the subtropical Moranian Mediterranean climate to the polar tundra of Norway. You'll find so many different types of climate zones with different types of geographic formations that stem from them. In terms of origins, some of the world's earliest and most famous civilizations come from Europe. Of course, Greece, Rome, and who could forget medieval Europe too? Europe is rich in history, and many people enjoy traveling there to be part of it. From a cultural standpoint, Europe is home to different regions within the continent, and within those different regions, you'll find that people have developed and adapted specific sets of unique characteristics and customs. From a value standpoint, Europeans tend to value today very progressive, open minded, innovative customs, while still yet embracing some of the unique traditions that have made them who they are as a collective people. Also, in terms of attractions, Europe is the most visited continent in the world. With the booming tourism industry, new countries are finding their glory moment in traveling industry today. You'll also find this later on as you complete the lesson. Let's move on to the next question today. What are some key noteworthy things that ancient Greece is known for? Identify and explain at least six things. I'll give you a few seconds to copy down the question, and then we'll proceed from there. So the answer to the question of the day, in terms of origins, Greece, or ancient Greece, was born on the shores of the Aegean Sea at around 4,000 years ago. Over time, Greece has expanded an empire about as far west as Spain, and about as far east as India. Now, over time, Greece developed an advanced political system. For example, a collection of city-states dotted the Greco area of the Mediterranean, and these city-states had their own rulers. However, they used democracy. Democracy is rule and will by the people. Athens, to be particular, is the birthplace of democracy. Greece also had an advanced military where they established colonies overseas, and they also protected the city-states at home from foreign invaders quite well. In terms of culture, Greece has left its mark on the Western world in so many different ways, from advanced art and architecture, from statues and temples, to the ways that they actually did different types of recreation and entertainment activities, from theater and sports to more. A lot of what we do today actually comes from the days and times of ancient Greece. Now, in terms of advancements and innovations, Greek, for example, as a language, is a very modern language, as much of our language structure today is based off of their language systems. Also, Greek civilization is known for advancements in sciences, literary works, and artistic advances too. Now, in terms of religion, one of the things that most people find fascinating about Greek culture is the pantheon worship of Greek gods and goddesses. In many ways, their devout worship of these entities has defined all aspects of their history and lifestyle. So there you guys have it, the answer content for both questions of the day. Please remember, once again, that you'll receive other sets of warm-ups to go along with the packet. Thank you very much for tuning in, and go with completing the rest of the warm-ups and the rest of the corresponding lessons.